Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video because I'm going to be annotating for the first time ever. I'm not the type of person to write in my books just because I'm not comfortable doing that. Also, I get a little bit embarrassed to have my thoughts written down and then someone to read them, but we're entering a different stage in my life. A little dramatic, but in the book community, I feel like this is a milestone. I've gotten to the point where I feel comfortable to write down and annotate in my books. So we're going to do that with my favorite book. This is The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston. It is a romance book with magical, like, elements if you guys haven't read it already please read it i always talk about it but i've already read this once and annotated it so let's just start from the beginning and talk a little bit about what annotating means to me also share some supplies and then we'll get into annotating annotating for me means that i get to write down and tab like every little important parts in the book that I want to remember. Usually I tab my books. So like these little tabs right here, you can see I have one for like each character, but I think now I've changed it to a tab for like quotes and a tab for love, anything that makes me warm and fuzzy. And then one that's like sad or one that's just like general information. Those are like the main tabs that I do. Before I get started, I did want to let you guys know that I started this process already just because I wanted to be able to share more of what I think I like and what I ended up doing. Basically, annotating means different things to everyone, but to me, it's just I'll be able to know exactly what I'm looking for when I go back and if I do reread. So at the beginning of the books, I usually put all of the tabs at the front and we're going to go into this later on. I was thinking whether I should buy new supplies but I already have a lot so I love just like stationary things so I have a bunch of tabs that I want to share. I have this entire pouch of just tabs so I have a lot. They're still coming you guys. I just go on Amazon and I look up book tabs. I bought a pack of, I think like a hundred or so. For a thick book, I'll run out of the same color tabs. So I want to have like multiple packs. That way I will have similar colors to use. I also have purchased these before where if you don't want a lot, they'll just look like this. I just love colors to basically match the book cover that I am reading and I am just obsessed with tabs as you guys can tell. So for the seven year slip I decided to go with this tab. The cover is like yellow but also kind of orangey. I decided to use this one, this one, this bright yellow and then like a purple so I decided this one as well. This is like blue-ish but I like the purple more with the yellow so that's what I'm going to be using. And then for pens and stuff, I realized I have this entire thing right here. So I have different pens. These are more like ballpoint pens that I bought in Asia. I also have these mile liners that I love when I was in college. I can use them again for my books. And then I have these Paper Mate Ink Joy gel pens. And I don't know how they'll work with like certain books just because I don't know if they'll bleed through or anything like that. I also have this pouch and I love this. This is just $5 from Target. I have all of my mile liners in here but also I have these, I don't know, I bought these from Timu and in, in Asia as well. They're called like shiny pens or something and I love that because there's like some glitter when you highlight. I don't know what these, oh these are the Paper Mate Flare pens and these like you know they have different colors but these I tried using for this book and I think the paper, I don't know if it's the paper but it bled through a little bit so it's a little risky. I'm not going to use these. I already started so I have all of the things in this little box and honestly I think I got this box when I bought these key point um, highlighters. I'm pretty sure you can find them on Timu or on Amazon. This one is a dual like point. So one is 
a little bit skinnier so that you can make hearts or something like that and then the other side is the highlighting side which I used a lot of today I am going to use a yellow highlighter a black pen and then I have a yellow like shiny pen but I want to show you guys the swatches I decided to go with these three I hope you can see the shine on that top one it's like a little bit more orangey but I think that's like the best for this book and that's the paper mate flare at the bottom that bled a little bit so I'm not going to be using that one I have like about a hundred pages left of this book because I wanted to leave the ending to annotate with you guys so basically the seven year slip is about this girl that inherits her late aunt's apartment and that apartment is supposed to be a magical apartment so when she stepped into this apartment she just met a random stranger standing in her apartment and he's basically from seven years in the past and so she's trying to figure out who he is what is he doing here and along with that it talks about her dealing with grief i've never read anything like this so that's why it just like i don't know why but it really stuck with me so i'm still really loving this book now that i'm reading it for the second time honestly i'm glad that i'm going back because i forgot to put what each tab meant so i was very confused going through these tabs and i was like wait what are the orange tabs what are the purple tabs so for the orange i'm going to use that for surprises that i didn't expect in the book yellow i have for love i do have a lighter yellow that's for the quotes that i want to go back on and then i have the dark purple for sad moments then i also have the light purple and i think i'm going to put that for spice just because every time i am trying to remember if the book has spice or not i don't really remember but this book doesn't really have spice Starting out with chapter one, basically the first paragraph, I put this yellow tab because it represents a quote that I want to go back on. So I think I'm just going to underline whatever I want. I'll highlight the parts that are more significant to me and parts that I want to stand out. And then I'll doodle or draw whatever I want if I'm feeling like it. First sentence that I underline says, my aunt used to say, if you don't fit in, fool everyone until you do. And that's just like so meaningful to me. And then I also underlined this part where she says, to find work that is fulfilling to your heart as well as your head, to never forget to fall in love whenever you can find it, because love is nothing if not a matter of timing, and to chase the moon. Always, always chase the moon. And it's just so deep because I really like connect with what she's saying in this moment. So I am just going to go back in the future and see how I feel. But it had like a deep meaning to me and I loved it. So I put a heart because it was relatable. Let's just go look at some of the parts where I annotated. I don't want to spoil anything. I also have another quote underlined and it's just like about a book. And then I also have some underlines here, but I wrote on the side and it just felt really weird. But I put, we love hot chefs. That was just something, you know, I feel like would be a little bit embarrassing if other people read it. And then there was the sad part in the book that I basically underlined and put that so I can remember. And then another quote here is another quote that I did a lot too. So I basically underlined and then I also highlighted this portion and then I put a circle around something you enjoy and then I tried to do swiggly lines. I have a yellow one which I love and then I put like ah because I'm always screaming when I'm reading these books. And then I double underlined this part because one of them said I assure you I've danced before and then the other said but not with me. And then over here, I didn't know what I was doing because I was highlighting with two different highlighters. This one is another quote. Here at the bottom, I tried to draw a pie because it says love in a lemon pie and that was so sweet. Next time, I think instead of using the black ink, 
I'm going to try a different color pen. It would just like be more fun to switch it up here and there. And I might switch out the highlighters because right now I have two that are like in the yellow family. But I think next time I'm going to use one that's like yellow and then maybe one that's blue. And it could be for different characters. But honestly, annotating is just whatever you feel like. It's just part of your reading experience. But I do notice that annotating takes like forever and I would be done already. But I spent all day yesterday reading and annotating this book. I don't think I'm going to do it for every book but if there is a book that I like I might like go back and annotate or something like that this is just how I'm starting out so I don't know too much if you guys have any ideas or tips and tricks that you want to share with me feel free to put it in the comments below because that would be really helpful to me and to anybody else that wants to start annotating so there's a part in the book where they're just talking about Michelin stars and I just want to put a bracket um, for that paragraph just because I feel like it's interesting. Something I didn't know before. So I just did it like that. That way I don't have to highlight the whole paragraph. I forgot to mention that before I tried to do this, I did notice, like I said, with the Paper Mate Flare, it was going through the other side, and so I was like, okay, I'm just going to stop. And then when I'm highlighting, I did notice that if I go back the second time, it'll like go through the other side. Also, when you're annotating, it's not going to be perfect. So I was trying to use these little tabs, like the edge of them, to make straight lines, and it is pretty helpful. <sighs> There will be moments where I'm like, I didn't see that the first time I read it. So now I'm just like, it has more meaning to me. This part is so cute. You guys, this man is so sweet. What does he mean? You guys, I totally forgot this story and I was so confused the whole time because I was trying to remember and I think if you read this, then you would know. It's like reading it for the first time again. I am here for it because I am shook. So that is basically this entire video. I hope you guys had a great time annotating this book with me. I still love it so much and I'm just really happy to have all of the annotations now because I've been meaning to do that. Let me know if there are any books you think I should annotate but I'm very happy that we went through this journey together. Hopefully this inspired some of you to go ahead and just annotate right in your books make it you know your own it was just a great time so i feel like again i want to do this but not to every book i talked so much but i hope this video was somewhat helpful thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye